The ramp entry will have the tool move into the pocket as if it were traveling down a ramp. I'll select the parameters for the first operation. Then the entry motion and select the ramp radio button. The minimum ramp length of 50% is fine, but I want the ma maximum length as long as possible. So in the ma maximum length field, I'll right click and choose L equals the length of an entity and select this line. Setting a longer length will make it quicker for Mastercam to find a suitable entry. I'll leave the remaining default values and accept these selections. I'll regenerate the toolpath and launch the Verify Simulator. I'll step the simulator through the toolpath and we can see the ramping motion of the tool into the part. The simulation looks good but I want to explain some of the other options so I'll go back to Mastercam, select the parameters, here I'll add a hundred thousands to the additional slot width. As you can see here this will have the cutting tool take a 180 degree turn at the end of each ramp and the 180 degree turn will move the tool over a hundred thousands. I'll accept this selection and regenerate the tool path and I'll verify the results. So here we can see the new ramping motion. I'll go back to Mastercam, select the parameters again. This time I'll set the XY angle to 45 degrees. Accept this selection, regenerate the toolpath, and simulate the results. So now we can see the effect of the 45 degree angle.